three minutes or less. One. Fight, robots fight. Oh, we're seeing good mobility from Mojave. Yeah, some of the best mobility we've seen all day. Yeah, Mojave had been plagued by some drive issues earlier in the day. This is an homage to Copperhead on BattleBots. This is loser's bracket Ooh. round four. Uh, wow. The winner of this match will advance to loser's bracket round five to face Huge. Which, uh, I don't know. Who knows here? I mean, Huge is pretty tall, and these robots are pretty short, Kyle. Yeah. Oh. Neither of them are very well matched for Huge. Demi Gorgon taking out the uh, Smeedleweight kit there. And it looks like the drum on Mojave is down. Now, Mojave is an interesting design because it's a hub motor, uh, so the motor lives inside of that drum. Some of the, uh, the big advantages of that is you get direct power transfer from the motor to the weapon. Some of the disadvantages of that is your motor is literally sitting inside of the thing you're trying to hit your opponent with. What that is happening? Was the weapon on Demi Gorgon? It is now completely oh, removed from the box. No. Wow! That's... Without a weapon, it comes down to pushing. Can Corey Mason stay alive? That is damage. Yeah, that's big damage right there. Wow! At this point, Demi Gorgon is lucky they took out the Smeetle weight kit early in this fight, or Kyle. that would play a big factor right now. Mojave's drive is looking very sluggish right very now. Very sluggish. Wow, Ooh. 75 seconds left here in this fight. Never give up. You really never know what is going to happen in these fights. It could completely change in your favor in the last yeah. 20 seconds. Yeah. I mean, that's just crazy. Wow, Mojave did not tap out, and it really, uh, really paid off there, that decision. You've got to wonder what happened with Demi Gorgon to uh, cause it to lose its weapon like that. I think that they went weapon to weapon. Now they hit a, you know, essentially a dead drum on on Mojave, and yeah, you know, are the judges going to see that as the result of aggression from Demi Gorgon, or are they going to see that as damage from Mojave? Interesting, interesting. That's a good point. I mean, I, I would say, like, if it was BattleBots rules, you know, like, uh, you put your robot in danger by continuing to engage with a clearly dying robot. So that, uh, you know, I would say that counts for aggression, wouldn't you? Yeah. How does how does the damage play out, though? Well, I mean, damage is damage, all right? If you lose your weapon, that's damage. All right, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, that's the match. Turn off your weapons. Got a little celebratory dance from Demi Gorgon and Brandon Bennett Young. Corey Nason also all smiles here. Uh, let us go over to the judges while they deliberate. Chris, your thoughts on this fight? Oh, for one of the bots, it was a, it was a great end to a, you know, a great season. Um, I, think it's, I think it's really gonna come down to seeing how that one transaction played out, yeah. you know, Losing the weapon, that's 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 key, but I mean Mojave they already had their weapon go down. Yeah. Um, you know, so it's gonna be Mojave's weapon didn't go flying out of the robot though, Chris. That's very true. All right, uh, as the judges are entering their scores. Ooh. Oh, it's close. Chris, it's close. What? Wow. I'm trying to do math. Oh, oh. it is Demi Gorgon. 